Hi everybody, my name is Martin Hill and this is my Premier League preview show. Today I'm looking at the big one tomorrow. Yes, yeah, Sunday's big match between Man City and Man United. One of the biggest derbies in uh, world football. I think it's going to be very tight tomorrow. I mean, I don't think home advantage is going to mean anything. As uh, City proved a couple of years ago, going to Old Trafford and trouncing Man United, it won't mean anything. But it's a really interesting uh, matchup at the moment, this game. I mean, there's hardly any weaknesses in both teams. But I think, if you look at the Man City team, I mean, individually, I think they are better than Man United. They have got some fantastic individuals. I mean, if you just have a quick look through the team that played the other night uh, against uh, Pleasant in the uh, Champions League game and got a 3-0 win, I mean, you got, you know, Hart in goal, you got uh, Zabaleta at right back, you got uh, Kolarov at left back, you got Company who just came back, a uh, massive uh, thing for City him coming back. You got Nastasic playing next to him there. And then in front of them, you got a uh, Fernandino. You've got Torre in there. You've got Nasri, Aguero, Navas, and Dzeko up front there. I mean, what an 11 that is. And then the great thing about City, the people that didn't play. And let's have a look at the people that didn't play Rodwell, Jovetic, Negredo, Milner, Garcia, Silva. I don't think Man United can come up with as many big names as that. But it all balances out. Where City have got the individuals, Man United, for me, have got the best team. You know, they play as a really solid unit. City are still playing as individuals and haven't quite gelled for me yet. But then you look at Man United and you think, half of their team has probably peaked a year or two years ago. I don't think Rooney's the player he was two years ago. I don't think Van Persie is. Um, Carrick just over the hill, Vidic with injuries, that's pushed him over the hill. Uh, Ferdinand definitely not as good as he was two or three years ago, Ever not as good as he was two or three years ago. So Man United have got five or six players who peaked two or three years ago. City on the other hand, all their players I would say barring Zabaleta are peaking at the moment or are just below their peak. But as I say it's going to balance out in the end. You've got the individuals of Man City, against the team and good quality experienced players of Man United, for me it's going to be a one-all draw this. I mean, there isn't many goals in the Premiership this season. It's been a really dull Premiership so far for me. 78 goals in 72 games. Unbelievable, really. When you think, if you look at the Spanish League, 117 goals in 72 games. And everyone said the Premiership was exciting. Well, maybe it's going to turn exciting this weekend. But for me, Sunday's game, I'd go for a one-all draw. Enjoy it. Bye for now.